Hope you enjoyed that little fly through of Bellamina. I'm going to reveal how it was done and in a second show you some of the technology. But the purpose of that video was to encourage people to go out, support their town centres, um, and you know get back out there, especially after everything's been going on with the pandemic. Personally, I really think um, that supporting town centres and supporting local businesses is something we have to do. If you have a strong town centre. It's going to be a place where people come, it's going to create a sense of community, it's going to create a sense of pride. And I think that all creates this feedback loop into just improving uh, local society and local culture in general. So yes, support your town centres if you can. But always be willing, I always say always be willing to pay a bit more uh, and can sort of think of that as I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, 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 yes, I'm spending a little bit more than I might have online, but I'm contributing to something that long term is going to benefit me if you're going to be selfish about it, <laughs> but that's also going to benefit a lot of other people as well. Now, how on earth did I manage to shoot that video? How did I, who gave me permission? Was it legal? And what equipment did I use? Well, first of all, yes, it was legal. I had permission that was done for the council and for the local business improvement district. And what made it okay from a regulation point of view all boils down to the fact that I was able to use this tiny, tiny little FPV drone that means that i flew this with a pair of goggles on um, and i can see out this camera on the front here as it flies it means you can do a lot more like close quarters flying and more kind of complex moves than you could get with a normal video drone so yes flew with this it's under 250 grams that's a big part of it we had to shoot really 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 early in the morning but 6 a.m well, I've been up earlier, but 6 a.m. Um, just after sunrise, so the sun was bright enough. I had a spotter with me who was able to watch out for traffic and made sure that when we were flying, we did not fly over anybody's heads or over traffic. Even though, even though flying this category of uh, quadcopter this, at this weight actually means it's fine to fly over people's, people's heads as long as you're not doing it uh, deliberately. We still wanted to avoid that. I also have a... A2C off C certification, which removes a lot of restrictions uh, for me and means I could do commercial operations. I've got insurance um, and I created a risk assessment, a flight plan, and a lot of paperwork went into making sure that this was all done safely and legally, and that's how it was done. Please do not head to your local town center with your drone thinking that you can just go and fly. You can't. And then from a more technical point of view, if you really want to know, um, the camera on here shoots this, um, if you really want to know, the GoPro here away on here shoots this sort of raw, flat looking image that's really, really jittery and shaggy. And then what is clever, GoPros have uh, a gyroscope inside, records gyroscopic information. That gyroscopic information is then fed into stabilization software, which analyzes the footage, it takes the, the, takes the gyro information and smooths it out. You use really steady go and it gives me the smoothest footage possible. And I then take that into my editing software, do a color pass on it just to bring out the colors that were in the skies that day, do my editing, add my sound effects, add music, and I get the final video. So yes, it's a lot of work and quite a bit of investment. It's the sort of work I'd like to do more of. So if you have any projects that might require this kind of thing, you can let me know. But just want to give you a little bit of insight into how that was done. Have a look around the channel. I make videos about outdoor stuff, about drones, about running, bit of an odd mix. Have a look, you might find stuff you like and uh, maybe at some point you'll hear a buzz buzz going over the top of your head and it'll be me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Please share. And and if you're local to Northern Ireland, please go to Balamina Means on Facebook. Like the video on there and share it on there because that would mean a lot to uh, promoting the local time. Thank you very much.